In this week's video, we'll cover numerous chart patterns that can be found around the globe and answer the question, what are they telling us about stock market risk? To view the video in full screen mode, use this icon in the lower right hand corner of your video player. To improve the clarity of the charts, use this icon in the lower right hand corner of your video player. These are weekly charts of the S&P 500 index. If you're new to the fold, we'll describe the concepts. Regular viewers hang in there with me. We'll use these concepts on 34 different charts this week. This is the S&P 500 weekly as of the close on Friday, April 24th. We use these moving averages to help us discern between volatility to ignore and volatility to respect. A full bore bullish look when the net aggregate opinion is bullish is price above blue and red, blue above red, and the slopes of both are up. A full bore bearish look when the net aggregate opinion of all market participants is bearish, is price below both moving averages, blue below red, and the slopes of both are down. This is what fear looks like in general, and this is what confidence looks like. We've got somewhat of a mixed bag, but as of the close on Friday, April 24th, this is a confident look, and we have a new high that was printed on the S&P 500 weekly. The same concepts apply here. We're just using moving averages with a little bit longer duration. You can see the blue moving average, the fastest moving averages on top in the present day and the slopes are all up. That looks quite a bit different than full bore risk off where the fastest moving average in blue is on the bottom and price is below. In this case, price is above. The present day looks more like a full bore bullish look than a full bore bearish look. Before we move to chart patterns around the globe, we'll look at some U.S. indices and do some housekeeping here, updating charts, resistance, 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 bullish breakout, previous resistance, on the NYSC daily, we closed above and made a new high. All things being equal, this is a good look for the bulls. The daily chart of the S&P 500 was not able to clearly break out this week, but we have price above an upward sloping and bullish 50 day. The 50 day is above the 200 day and the slope is up. The weight of the evidence presented in this video tells us that probabilities say that we will break out here, but obviously we'll head into next week with a flexible and open mind. Like the weekly chart of the S&P 500, the weekly version of the MYSE composite also clearly broke to the upside on a closing basis. This is the weekly ACWI ETF. It's a global ETF. Resistance, 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 bullish breakout, a full bore bullish look, and a new weekly closing high. Weekly EWT, Taiwan, you can make an argument that we have a bullish cup and handle formation. This is fear here, and this is the last shakeout of fear, a bullish breakout above the rim, previous resistance, what once was resistance, may now act as support. We also made a new weekly closing high above this previous point, of resistance. This pattern has a hypothetical component to it because the right shoulder has not completely formed yet. We have a plunge in EWI weekly Italy during the financial crisis and now a consolidation pattern that looks somewhat like a left shoulder ahead. We could be forming a right shoulder here. The important thing for the intermediate term is EWI has that full bore bullish look on a weekly chart. Price is above both moving averages, blue is above red, and the slopes of both are up. If it can break above this neckline here, it could really start to run. Again, a lot of hypotheticals there. The visual evidence is bullish. That's a full bore bullish look on the weekly chart as of the close on Friday, April 24th. This is a weekly chart of EWJ, Japan. While it's far from textbook, from a very, very long-term perspective, 1996 
can see somewhat of a left shoulder here, head lower than the left shoulder, come down and make a right shoulder, which is higher than the head. We make that in 2009, and we may be completing that. If we're able to break out to the upside, that would be bullish. We also have somewhat of a mini inverse head and shoulders here, and if we do the projection from this breakout here, it tells us that the odds are decent that we might actually clear this long-term resistance line. If we did, it would have bullish implications from a probability perspective for EWJ Japan. France Weekly, the most important takeaway for us is we have a full bore bullish look. We made a new high above this area here that acted as support previously and also acted as resistance you can also make an argument that we have a decline, a consolidation period that looks like a bullish inverse head and shoulders pattern. This is a long-term weekly chart of FXI China. Financial crisis here somewhat acted as a slowdown area. Resistance in the same general area came up and hit it earlier in the year twice, acted as resistance. We just had a bullish breakout above an area that has somewhat acted as resistance during a seven-year consolidation period. The longer we can stay above these two lines here, the better for FXI. This vertical look tells us, obviously, there could be some give back even under a bullish scenario. The most important thing for us is we do have that full bore bullish look as of the close on Friday, April 24th. When we see something that looks like a potential chart pattern, we really aren't focused on the textbook nature of it. What's important to us is there's human beings behind these charts. This is emerging markets debt. This left shoulder is a spike in fear. Then there's a bigger spike in fear, a bullish run. The right shoulder is the last shakeout in a pattern like this before a breakout above a neckline, which we have done if this is indeed that type of pattern. We have a full bore bullish look, and if the emerging market economies were on the ropes, we wouldn't expect to see a breakout here necessarily. This is telling us that they believe, the market believes, that the probability of default on emerging market debt is lower today than it was just a few weeks ago. Silver Weekly, this is far from textbook. Why? A head and shoulders pattern typically comes after a run up, not a drop. But again, the principles are similar. Silver, a spike in enthusiasm for silver, and a bigger spike in enthusiasm for silver, the last shakeout in enthusiasm, and now momentum is rolling over, and we have a full bore bearish look. So if we were on the verge of collapse in terms of currencies collapsing or hyperinflation, we would expect to see silver and gold performing better than they are in the present day. Everything that we just said about the silver chart applies to the VIX chart here, VXX a spike in fear, a bigger spike in fear, and one more shakeout in fear, and then a break below what was previously support for fear. The longer we stay below this red line here, the better for the stock market bulls. Double A X J Asia X Japan weekly, regardless of whether or not this has anything to do with the head and shoulders, this is resistance, this is resistance, this is a bullish breakout. What once was resistance may now act as support. We've held in that general area, and gone on to break this downward sloping trend line. We made a new weekly closing high this week, and we have a full bore bullish look on the weekly chart of AAXJ. Weekly Emerging Markets, EEM, remember this is what fear looks like. And then we ask ourselves, does the present day look anything like this period here from a probability perspective? The answer is no. 
the EFA Weekly is Foreign Developed Markets. We have a bullish breakout and a full bore bullish look and a new weekly closing high. EFA gained 2.15% in the last five trading sessions. EWM Malaysia has shifted from a full bore bearish look to a full bore bullish look. Markets are always worried about something. Next week, we'll be worried about the Fed. We'll be worried about Greece. In terms of Greece, we wouldn't expect Spain to be shifting from a full bore bearish look to a full bore bullish look on a weekly chart if Armageddon was right around the corner in Europe. Weekly, EWS, Singapore, resistance, 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 break above, break above. Price captures everything. That's telling us here that the net aggregate opinion of all market participants is bearish for EWW Mexico. Consolidation speaks to indecisiveness, and now we're trying to turn up in a bullish manner, and we have a bullish moving average crossover. EWY South Korea, indecisiveness and a bottoming process and a break above previous resistance. From a weight of the evidence perspective, do these indices look like fear? No, they don't. EWL, new closing high this week above this level. Full bore bullish look. Weekly EWZ Brazil has shifted from a full bore bearish look to a full bore bullish look. Resistance, general resistance, resistance, bullish breakout, bullish moving average crossover. Weekly RSX Russia was able to break above previous resistance and convert from a bearish look to a bullish look on a weekly chart. VEA has shifted from a series of lower lows and lower highs to a series of higher highs and higher lows. The longer a market consolidates, the bigger the move we can expect in either direction when we get a breakout. This is a seven-year breakout for the most part for VPL. Vanguard Total Stock Market Weekly, back in the USA, full bore bullish look and a new weekly closing high. XLK weekly technology, resistance, 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 bullish breakout, and a much better look from a probability perspective. If consumer discretionary spending is stable or strong, we're probably not on the verge of a recession. XLY weekly, resistance, resistance, full bore bullish look, a bullish breakout this week, and printed a new weekly closing high. On all of these charts, what once was resistance may now act as support. So some of these vertical charts, they absolutely positively may come back and retest. But potential support is not too far below on most charts. Internet Stocks Weekly, resistance, 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 breakout, Breakout above this level, retest, retest, somewhat of an inverse head and shoulders pattern here. A break above the neckline, a new weekly closing high, and a full bore bullish look for FDN Weekly. To summarize, how do we use all of this? You can see here in October of 2007, there are observable changes that start to take place place, warning us that the probability of bad things happening is increasing. The slopes are starting to roll over. Prices below all the moving averages in October of 2007. And here we get a litany of bearish moving average crossovers. This is a big red flag. Could this chart morph into something like this? Absolutely, positively, yes but we need to see it. This is hard evidence. And when risk starts to pick up, the evidence will shift. That could start next week. And if it does, 
we're happy to make the necessary adjustments. How do we track all of this and convert it into a usable and actionable format in a reasonable amount of time? The sub-models we answer binary questions, some of them manually done, some of them programmed in Excel, and we also enter in unbiased and hard data. The sub-models allow us to get a handle on the market's current profile, and the master CCM market model then looks at the current profile, compares it to past profiles, and recommends a prudent allocation between risk assets such as stocks and conservative assets such as bonds. Conservative assets can consist of cash, bonds, currencies, or any number of investment options. If you'd like to learn more about the market model or our money management services, you can visit our website, follow along on Twitter, Facebook, read our blog, Short Takes, or watch past videos on the Shivako Capital Channel on YouTube. The material in this video has no regard to the specific investment objectives, financial situation, or particular needs of any viewer. This video is presented solely for informational purposes and is not to be construed as a solicitation or offer to buy or sell any security or any related financial instruments, nor should any of the content be taken as investment advice. Any opinions expressed in this video are subject to change without notice, and Shivako Capital Management, LLC, or CCM is not under any obligation to update or keep current the information contained herein. CCM and its respective officers and associates or clients may have an interest in the securities or derivatives of any entities referred to in this material. CCM accepts no liability whatsoever for any loss or damage of any kind arising out of the use of all or any part of this material. We recommend that you consult with a licensed and qualified professional before making any investment decision.